survive a course of miracles. Good morning, it's Maureen Muldoon with Lesson 75, The Light Has Come, a Course in Miracles, and we're going to get into it. The light has come. You are healed and you can heal. The light has come. You are saved and you can save. You are at peace and you bring peace with you wherever you go. Darkness and turmoil and death have disappeared. The light has come. Today we celebrate the happy ending to your long dream of disaster. There's no dark dreams now. The light has come. Today the time of light begins for you and everyone. It's a new era in which a new world is born. The old one has left no trace upon it in its passing. And today we see a different world because the light has come. What does that mean? You know, it's basically saying like, um, forgive them they know not what they do like let this pass forgive yourself you know not what you do you think that you uh, had crucifixions and you think that things went wrong and um, and that people did wrong but um, but that was a dream and we're waking up and you want to wake up that's why you're doing these lessons and in order to wake up we can't drag the dream into the uh, reality. So we have to say, uh, the, you know what, I was sleeping in the dark and now the light has come. I woke up and I can't take even a scrap of that dream with me because it means nothing here. It left no trace upon it in its passing, it says in this lesson. That's what it means. It left no trace. It left no mark. Only love leaves a mark. So it goes on to say our exercises for today will be happy ones in which we offer thanks for the passing of the old and the beginning of the new. No shadow from the past remains to darken our sight and hide the world's forgiveness. The uh, hides the world forgiveness offers us. So what is forgiveness? Forgiveness is um, you know the only person we have to forgive is ourself. You know, forgive me for thinking that something went wrong. Forgive yourself for thinking that something went wrong. This will serve you. This thing, that old story, that old dream, like that will serve you as we forgive it. We'll go, hmm, I thought something went wrong, but I'm going to forgive it. I'm just going to let it go. And then in two days or one day or an hour, somebody will call and say, God, something went wrong. It's horrible. And you'll go, oh, I thought that too. I thought that something had gone wrong and then I forgave it. And now I see the reason I was able to, uh, the reason I forgave it was so that I could be here and hold the light for you. And someday I'm going to fall asleep again and you're going to hold the light for me. And together we're here to gently wake each other up by forgiveness, through forgiveness. So today we will accept the new world as what we want to see. We will be given what we desire. Do you want it? I do. I want to see the new world. I want to see the, the world that's filled of light and wonder, happiness and joy, beyond my definitions and expectations. We will be given what we desire. We will see the light. The light has come. Our longer practice periods will be devoted to looking at the world that our forgiveness shows us. This is what we want to see, and only this. Our single purpose makes our goal inevitable. Today, the real world rises before us in gladness to be seen at last. Sight is given us now that the light has come. So it literally rises before us so that we can see it. We don't come to it with our definitions and say, this is a husband, this is a son, this is a man on the bus, this is a, a bed, this is a poster. It's literally going back to the beginning lessons and saying, I don't know what anything is for. Tell me who you are. Tell me what this is. I'm going to come with a blank open slate. You know, a healed mind doesn't plan. Can I come with an open mind to the situations and be and, and allow the light to dawn on me? The light is given us now that the light has come. Sight is given us now that the light has come. We do not want to see the ego's shadows on the world today. We see the light, and in it we see heaven's reflection across the world. Begin the longer practice periods today by telling yourself the glad tidings of your release. The light has come. I have forgiven the world. The light has come. I have forgiven the world. Gosh, that is so freeing. Try it out. Try it out in your own mouth. <laughs> Take a bite of that. Dwell upon, uh, not upon the past today. Dwell not upon the past today. No, so be present. Practice the presence. Keep a completely open mind, washed of all past ideas, of every concept you have made. You know, the ego makes things up, but the um, but love creates. And in order to create, we have to be in the present moment, open to the concepts of God. 
You have forgiven the world today. You can look upon it now as if you never saw it before. You do not know yet what it looks like. You merely wait to have it shown to you. While you wait, repeat several times slowly in complete patience. Patience is the virtue of kings. Patience is a characteristic of a good teacher of God. Patience drives me crazy. I can't wait to have patience. <laughs> Patience really is one of my classrooms. Uh, the light has come. I have forgiven the world. When I think about patience, I think, you know, the word wait. W-A-I-T. What am I teaching? Am I teaching rush, worry, fear? Or am I teaching peace, patience, perfection? Realize that your forgiveness entitles you to vision. To vision, Understand that the Holy Spirit never fails to give the gift of sight to the forgiven. Believe he will not fail you now. You have forgiven the world. He will be with you as you watch and wait. He will show you what true vision sees. It is his will and you have joined with him. Wait patiently for him. He will be there. Gosh, I didn't realize how many times the word patient was in this lesson. <laughs> the light has come. You have forgiven the world. Tell him you know you cannot fail because you trust in him. And tell yourself you wait in certainty to look upon the world he promised you. From this time forth, you will see it differently. And you will see the world that has been promised you uh, since time began and in which is the end of time ensured. The shorter practice periods, too, will be joyful reminders of your release, reminding yourself every quarter of an hour or so that today is a time of special celebration give thanks for mercy and love for god rejoice in the power of forgiveness to heal your sight completely be confident that on this day there is a new beginning without the darkness of the past upon your eyes you cannot fail to see today and what you see will be so welcome that you will gladly extend today forever Hmm, so what you see will be so welcome that you will gladly extend it forever. The light has come. I have forgiven the world. Should you be tempted to say to anyone who seems to pull you back into darkness, so should you be tempted by any ruffle or worry, um, say to that person, the light has come. I have forgiven you. Okay, that last little bit of advice, I think it's kind of kooky. Because if somebody gets under my skin, like the last thing I'm going to do is, the light has come. I have forgiven you. <laughs> Although, it would be so funny to try that out today. Like with some, you know, random person who's just like, you know, vying for the parking space or, you know, pushing your impatient buttons. Just say, the light has come. I have forgiven you. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I think that's so funny. Because we don't speak like that. But it doesn't matter if you say that to them or not. What matters is that if you think it, they, all healing happens in your mind. You know, if you go wait a second, am I going to get hung up or strung out on this? Is this worthy of my peace? The answer is no. Peace is your most valuable possession. So, so yes, to everything you kind of have to say, the light has come. You know, I'm not willing to give my peace away for this. And uh, I'm, I'm ready to have that new day dawn on me, that new light that shows me the good, the beautiful, and the holy. And I am invested in not only seeing it, but being it and freeing it for everyone. And that requires that I don't take this illusion seriously, that I don't forget to laugh, that I enjoy, that I don't make preconceived ideas, that I don't plan, that I allow the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit's plan that is audacious and gorgeous and beautiful to arise today. And I allow myself to enjoy it. Thank you for joining me. Give us a little like, share it with your friends, mostly practice it because the world needs your light and it comes from you. God bless. Namaste. Wasn't that a good lesson? It's a good one. <laughs>